yogurt and blueberries and this one is my favorite snack right now it tastes like frozen yogurt and it's so good so I just finished taking a shower and I'm not looking my best right now I haven't been looking my best for the past few days this week I went to my part-time job here in Japan I went for three days I usually go only when I'm on break or when I'm free so that's about like thrice a month. Super tiring. It's really tiring to have an 8 to 5 job. Or a 9 to 5 job. No, actually mine starts at 8.30 till 5.30. And it depends how long I want to work. But since I don't really go that often, I go for 8 hours. And oh my god, it's so draining. It's mentally and physically draining because once I get home, like I don't have energy to do another task like I just want to sleep and rest I work from Tuesday to Thursday and then yesterday I had like a do nothing day I was supposed to work yesterday but I just wanted to stay at home and rest this is how it works when you don't have allowance anymore so for my base I'm gonna use this one from Superface as you can see here I have my tiny friend I actually broke out a lot during the holiday season because we had a bunch of sweets here. We had cake, leche flan, mango float, cookies, and chocolate. So yeah, that's what I've been eating during the holidays and that caused me to break out. But some of them healed already. I only have this one left. If you guys want to know how I get rid of like my pimples and like acne scars, I actually posted a video. My skincare routine. I'm gonna put it in the description box and up here. It's winter here in Japan but I still have to set my face with the powder just because my skin is super oily so I'm gonna use this one from Fluorasis. It's translucent and what I like about this is that it keeps my face matte throughout the day. Especially when I'm wearing a mask to go out, I noticed that when I started using this powder, the makeup didn't really transfer to the mask and my makeup was still intact throughout the day. So yeah, I've been really enjoying this powder a lot. I got a bunch of beautiful makeup products from Fluorasis. I'm gonna show you guys. It's the prettiest products I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen anything like this. I'm gonna use this red blush from this palette. I know it looks really like red and vibrant on the palette but you can actually like build this up. It's not too harsh when you apply it. For my lips, I'm gonna use the pinky red shade. Guys, I really can't get over the details in this lipstick. How do they do this? Like how can you make a makeup product this pretty? As you can see, it's really pigmented, so usually when I use this lipstick, I just like to tap it on my lips, but I really wanted to show you guys how it looks like, so yeah. Now I'm just gonna do this on the tissue, and then I'm gonna top it off with this Fenty Beauty lip gloss. So this is the finished makeup look, and now I have to do my homework, watch a video, and finish 
my lab report. Then after that, I'm gonna take photos outside. Because it's still pretty early, but then since it's winter, it gets dark really early also, around 5 p.m. It's dark outside now, so I think I'm gonna take photos around 3.30 p.m. So yeah, I'm gonna study till then. Yeah, let's study. <sighs> I'm not ready, but we have to do it. We have to, we have to study. only 4 30 p.m. and it's kind of dark already this is what I'm talking about like it gets dark here really fast so the daytime is so short it kind of drains my energy in a way because around 7 p.m. I'm already sleepy I want more daylight more sunshine I just finished taking two quizzes in canvas so now I'm taking a break by sitting here outside. It's so cold! Oh my god, it's so cold. I love banana bread so much. And we have really, really ripe bananas. So I'm gonna turn it into a banana bread. I actually forgot about it, but my sister reminded me to make banana bread. Because I know naman siya. Kain ang kain. Katulad ko. Oh my god, this is a lot of butter. Oops. I think this is more than one stick. So these are my bananas. This is the ripe one that I was bragging about. I thought I had three, but my mom ate two. So yeah, I only have one, but then she bought replacement. I have three, four, four bananas, but I'm gonna use two of the new ones and one old banana. It's super big. Like, hello? I had a phase in college where I ate bananas every day for breakfast, but then I got sick of it, so I never ate it after that anymore. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> Can't do it. So my banana bread is now in the oven. It's gonna take around 40 minutes to be cooked. I intentionally planned on baking today because it's my sister's time to wash the dishes. So usually we take turns when it comes to washing the dishes. Today is her wash day, so yeah, that means I won't have to wash my own, like my baking stuff. Because usually whenever she bakes, I'm the one who washes it because it's always, she always bakes when it's my time to wash the dishes. So now, payback time. Many, many minutes later. I hope you guys don't judge me for my banana cake, but this is how it looks like. What happened? I don't think it's cooked yet. Let's do a taste test. I baked my banana bread. It's really good. It's crunchy on top, but it's really soft here at the bottom. Mm. It's gonna be so good with my coffee tomorrow morning. If you guys wanna make your own also, I'm gonna put the recipe that I used in the description box so you guys can make it too.
home from Yakiniku night. It's around 9 p.m. and I just wanted to update you guys on my makeup. As you can see, it's still there. It's still intact. I feel like the powder made my makeup last longer and as you can see, it's not super matte. Of course, it's been like seven hours. It does look a little dewy but you know, it's still there and it looks really nice. I'm also gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you want to see more vlogs in the future and yeah, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!